I'm filming oh. Will, filming me. Oh no, I don't like that, that's too close to my face. <laughs> Hi everyone, we're go this is Will in Vintage. You know him, people are staring at us in the street, we are actually good luck. Let's just carry on walking. So, so we're off to go and do some secret shopping book shops. So I'm gonna do a book haul video, mm -hmm. and then Will's gonna do. I'm gonna try and do like secret shopper stuff. In We're gonna ask booksellers what books they would recommend us to read right now, but without telling them that we're filming them. <laughs> And then we're probably going to get arrested. So it could be fun. But we're going into our first one, which is Dawn. Dawn's on Marleybone High Street. This is just going to be bloopers. The entire thing is going to be bloopers. So we just tried to go in Dawn's to do some filming for Will. Yeah. It didn't, didn't work. No. Um, it, it's quite early in the morning. Uh, so we were pretty much the first people in the bookshop. So we, we weren't very discreet, really, were we? We basically went and asked. Why should people go to Dawn's bookshop, Simon? Uh, they should go to Dawn's bookshops because actually, you know, I didn't have a proper browse, so I've really let my video down. Sorry, everyone. I took a photo. I didn't even film in there. Maybe um, you could put the photo into this video to show people. Yeah, just that's how, what if I'll you do. haven't seen Dawn's bookshop, it is one of the most beautiful bookshops in London. And they sell books by country instead of well, they do it by fiction. Well, they do it fictional at the top. When you walk in, it looks like a normal bookshop, but quite pretty. And then you realise that it's amazingly beautiful. And then you go down into the depths and it's all by country. Yeah. So if you if you happen to be going to Africa or Brazil or maybe Bogner, you can go and look up that place and read a book about it. Who wouldn't want to read a book about Bogner? Who, uh, who In wouldn't? fact, I may commission one of those for a rhyme. <laughs> Especially <laughs> because I don't think there probably are any. I'm sure there are. I've just managed to plug my own. I said I was going to say publish a new choice. It's all Shoot. about Orion, vintage thing. <laughs> <today. laughs> We're now on our way to Waterstones Hot and Cold Road on the tube. It's real. It's real. We're actually out of the real life. world. Yeah. So now we're going to go into Waterstones Hot and Cold Road and hopefully have more luck. I actually might buy a book and not be so obsessed with the fact that I've got to make a video um, and actually might film some stuff inside for you, maybe. I may have done this sneakily last time I was here, so if I don't, I can insert that footage now. So we've been to Tottenham Court Road, Waterstones. Will tried to do some sneaky, well, Will managed to do some sneaky filming. I can't do sneaky filming, but Will managed. Um, I wouldn't have been able to see that. How did you have the balls to do that? Just, just by being shameless. <laughs> and really? we got some great recommendations. What were you recommended? The new set of Roald Dahl adult short stories. Which, which I want. Got these amazing covers. Um, so yes, check those out. Um, since we've been making this video, somebody has said that I look like Ace Ventura. <laughs> you do. In that stupid photograph you Jim shared Carey. on Twitter. Um, and now we're going to go to some review books. I bought a book in the bookshop, but I'll share that with you later. Um, because she was so nice. I was in an hour about buying the book, and I was like, I've got to buy it. Oh. She was brilliant, actually. Jesus, um, but we're going to go to the London Review Bookshop because I don't know about you, but just by walking in there, I feel cleverer. I do, and I want a cake. Oh yeah, this cake. This isn't a bookshop, but it is the British Museum. Oh. And there's an ancient relic. Done London Review of Books, and I might have bought two books. Uh, that's quite good. Three bookshops, three books. You How many have you bought, Will? I haven't bought any. Uh, I'm really glad I came on a bookshop. I'm, I'm on a book hunt, so um, earlier on this morning we had breakfast with some other YouTubers, and uh, Jen challenged me to find a book. She said, You won't find it in a bookshop, so I'm trying to find it. However, so far, she's right. We haven't found it. But we will. We've got one more left. We're going into foils now, and I believe foils can save anything. Yeah. Don't let us down, foils. Don't let us down. We're also going to get some grub, because I haven't had any cake. Me and 
well we're in foils. Oh, you're sideways now. Anyway, can't hold a self stick apparently. We're in foils. Yeah. Where am I? Oh. Now, Will. Yeah. I would like some advice. Yes. I know you've read this. I have. The Man Who Loved Children, which I'm reading with Adam over at Momentum. What advice would you give for me to plough through it? Uh, I would say that you will require a bit of kind of gumption to, to stick with it because it's a big book and it takes a while to get going. But I promise you that there is a point about 300 pages in where. I mean, it's always pretty bonkers, that book, yeah. but there's a point at which the, it really kicks up again. It's got some amazing, amazing sort of domestic drama in it. And I was on holiday when I was reading it, and I had finished all my other holiday reads, so it was the only book I had left, and that's kind of why I stuck with it, but I'm really glad I did, because I like those big Russian classics, or like Dickens novels, it does pay back in the end. You just need to... See, I like the big book, like Marlon James is big and you have to really, really crack on with it and once you get to the end. Do you think me reading a chapter a day is a good way to do it? Yeah, that would do it. Yeah, chapter a day. Don't feel like you have to conquer it in one go. It's like climbing a mountain. Take your time. Reward yourself. Why not, you know, read a little bit and then give yourself a little reward, like, I don't know, cake. What, what cake would you recommend? Have you got any cake ideas that you could show us? No, maybe quinoa, plum and cardamom, French pan pudding from 26 grades. Wow, and what book is that that you've got there, actually, Will? What, this book here? Yeah. 26 grains by Alex Wow, Williams. who's actually just sat just over there She's on a different table. Yeah. She it's wouldn't come on my channel. She'll probably go on Will's channel. <laughs> um, and there's lots of lovely cakes in it. It's a properly beautiful book. Um, but the other thing I was to say, what other book do you have in your bag, Will? Hot Milk by Deborah Levy, which uh, I'm really enjoying it for. Um, it's making me feel quite hot, actually, because it's, it's set in Spain. No, it's just hot. I've just... Time. We've been yeah. sweaty all day. Well, I have. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just. Uh, Will's really sweaty. <laughs> Oversharing slightly. Anyway, sorry. Is it good? Yeah, it's very good. She's a fascinating writer. Um, I love her as a writer. And I've just read uh, alongside it uh, Stylus Nation, which is a graphic novel interpretation of one of her short stories from Black Vodka. So that's how amazing she is. She's in different mediums. Oh, well, I like that book. I've never read a graphic novel from just, just been published by Self Made Hero. I'm going to look that one up because we can't find one. We're out with um, graphic novel today. I've been looking everywhere, comic, whatever it is, and I can't find it. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're about to eat some cake, which I will link seamlessly into the video that I recorded before this one. What's it we're having? So we're here because uh, Alex Healy Hutchinson, author of 26 Grains, has done a takeover at the Foz Cafe, so you can sample some of her goods. Um, so we're going to have lunch here, and we're going to eat it, and all will be well. I want cake. There's cake. All I can think about is cake. <laughs> I'm very tired after all that book shopping. Yeah. How have you done with the book shopping again, Will? What? How much, how much book shopping have you done yet, Will? I've been trying to find this book that Jen recommended and, and nobody's got it, so Excuses. we're going to have to go Excuses. online, I guess, and find it. It's the only way. Don't buy books somewhere. online, kids. <laughs> go to a bookshop, that's the whole point of this video. I've now just gone down the toilet. Thanks, Will. Um, I will share what I've got when I'm not in a bookshop, because it looked a bit odd sharing the books I didn't buy in here in another bookshop, so there'll probably be something added on the end of this. Well, Will won't be there. Oh. Right. Uh, we're going to go and eat some cake and nice things now and do some videoing with him. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So I'm in foils and look how I bumped into outside foils. It's Jean. Jean I who was... now gets into every video I'm in. <laughs> I just follow people right? <laughs> Hoping does. to be in their videos. Yeah, she does. That's what she says. Jean, what have you got in your hand? Panty. By someone. Which I recommended, and then Jean's been trying to recommend me books. I've already bought five today, and so I haven't bought the other two. But I've now got a, what's it called, Terry Pratchett. Yep. And a, what's the series that you mentioned about vampires? Paris will protect it, but that's based on Elizabeth. I haven't actually finished the book yet. I'm just enjoying it so far. So once she wraps it up, if it's still good, it. if it's still good once she wraps it up, I will get it. But also, I did a book haul live <laughs> for Jean, and then Jean did a. You should read this live. And you didn't buy any of them? I will. And also, can I just say you're responsible for so many books that I have bought recently that I think that's an unfair shout. Anyway, I just thought I'd include Jean in this video because it's Jean. That's it now. Bye.